Sometimes we've got a list. For example, I've got my list here with four different numbers and you want to add a new number to the list. This, which you might want to try, doesn't actually work. I can't do plus equals 10 and have the computer append a 10 to the end of the list. The computer doesn't know if you want to append a new number to the list, if you want to add 10 to each element of the list, if you only want to add 10 to one element of the list. So the computer just gives up and gives you an error. If you want to append a number to the list, you use the append command that looks something like this. And now if I print my list, it'll print with the extra number. In order to use the append command, note that this is the name of the variable that I created up here. So it's the variable name, and then after that is what's called a method name. And methods are a lot like functions, except that they are attached to certain types of variables called objects, and we'll talk more about that in a later chapter. The item that we want to append is put right in here in the parentheses, and it'll go ahead and add it to the list. Now, there is another way of appending an item to the list. If you use a plus equals, you can put another list there, and then when I print out the list, I've got yet another 10 appended onto the end of the list. I happen to like the dot append method better, but it really is a question of style as to which way to append an item to the list that a person likes. Sometimes we don't know how large a list is going to be when we start, or we need to build the list as we get data over time. The first step to do that is to create an empty list. We need to create some sort of base that we're going to add our list to. We can't just set it equal to zero because that's not a list. But we can create an empty list by using square brackets right here, which signifies that we've got an empty list. Next, we can create some sort of loop or some sort of method of getting our data. In this case, I'm going to create a for loop. And we'll loop it five times, but this could easily be changed to something else. I'm going to get user input. where the user will enter something, then I will take whatever they enter and append it to the list. And then finally, once the loop's done, I can print the list. In fact, I could do that each step of the list, so I'm going to go ahead and indent that one. So now when I save this and run it, enter something, I can enter Mario. And now I've created a list of several different characters by starting with an empty list and appending each item to the list. Sometimes I need to create a list that is just filled with a bunch of zeros or some other type of item. In order to do that, with Python there's a little bit of a trick to it. You can set x equal to, then create an element such as zero, and then multiply it by the number of elements that you want. So if I take bracket 0 bracket, multiply it times 100, I can print x. It's going to take that 0 element, and I'm going to have 100 elements that will be created, and I now have a 100 element array created fairly simply. A lot of other languages don't really do it this way. This is kind of unique to Python and isn't immediately obvious how to do. So keep that trick in mind.